Okay, so now that we are on the recommended page list, here are some recommended uh, books that come up for the student. And they vary per student, it just depends on their reading interests and grade level, etc. So let's just go ahead and click on the first title we have here, Tiger Moth and the Dragon Kite Contest. Now you see as I hover my mouse over this book title, you'll see these three icons pop up. This green one with the open book icon means to read the book. This I one, uh, blue icon, is to get more information on the book. And this heart with the plus sign inside is to add it to my list. And my list is basically a list of the books that students want to read in the future or their favorite books that they have read before and they like. So let's go ahead and click on the I for more info. And here this opens up. And as you can see, it gives you more information and a little overview about the book and how long the audio is and page count, recommended grade levels. So let's go ahead and click on read. Now it's loading up and then click on start the book. So as you hover here to the right, you will see the arrow. Go ahead and click on it to open the book. These are the book pages. So here it is. And if you remember in the introduction page, there was a video and it showed you about available tools for the students. And the available tools are here at the bottom. If you click on it, here are the tools. This is a journal. This is a drawing brush. This is a highlighter. This is sticky notes. And this is a shape maker. Let's go ahead and try them out so that you could get an example of them. So if I click here on journal, here are journals that the student has made previously on other book books. So to add another one, you click here on the plus sign and here it will say untitled note. You could add the title. There's new book and then right here to the right is where you would actually write the journal entry. Description of the book. Okay, and then there you go, it's already saving here. And then you could delete it if needed to. The next one is the drawing brush. And here you could select the colors and the size. And this just lets you um, draw anywhere on the book. So if there's something that you want to remember or anything. And you could click here where you could erase it and there you go. The next one is a highlighter. We'll click the blue one. And as you can see, it won't highlight. It's not like the drawing brush, so it won't draw on the actual pictures like I did before. It'll go to the actual words. So then if you want to highlight, you just click along the words and there you go. And then you could always erase it. Erase highlights. Okay, and then this is sticky notes. If you click here, and then you click anywhere on the book, and then you have your sticky notes with little notes that the student may want to write. And last is the shape maker with different shapes. This is an arrow and you could go ahead and just drag it around, rotate it, whichever way you want. And you could delete them also. Oops. Okay.